when I'm training for professional competitions, men and women always ask me for advice. To women, I say push yourself harder than you ever have before and go beyond your comfort zone. Focus on your goals. Men, if I am willing to push myself to become Mr. Olympia in 2022, then I only have one thing to say to you. Bring your A-game. Here we go again. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? How black women, you know, you don't raise your kids, you just maintain them, you know, and you fail, you fail them because of that. And I'm talking about the fallout between Stormy Wellington, aka Coach Stormy and her daughter Manaya. Now I don't keep up with them uh, apparently they have a reality show as well that is chronicling uh coach stormy's business and mixed with her family excuse me so what i'm gonna do is i am going to read an article to you now there's a video attached in the article that i'm not going to play because it's like eight minutes long but i am going to go ahead and read the article to you um, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen so that you can read along with me. Okay. So. Coach Stormy accused of cutting her daughter off and kicking her out of the house without warning. Okay. So in the yellow is Coach Stormy and in the little dress is her daughter, Manaya. Okay. Fitness influencer Coach Stormy accused of cutting her daughter off and kicking her out of the house without warning. Seems like there's some drama brewing between Coach Stormy and her daughter. Well-known influencer and businesswoman Stormy Wellington, a.k.a. Coach Stormy, recently got into a heated dispute with her 21-year-old daughter, Manaya Canty. It's unclear what started the drama between the mother-daughter duo, but Coach Stormy is accused is being accused of cutting her daughter off without warning and kicking her out of the house. Fallout between Manaya Canty and Coach Stormy will reportedly play out on their upcoming docuseries with Lifetime called Million Dollar Hustle. Some speculate that the ladies are faking their issues for the cameras, but according to Manaya Canty, that isn't true. The young entrepreneur took to her Instagram live and shared her side of what happened with her mom on to her 339,000 IG followers. She said, all I know is, and y'all will see this on the show, I'm not doing this for the show. She added, I came to Miami to number one, move. Number two, work on my relationship with my mom. And boom, I ended up being in the show. I said I wasn't going to do the show no more. Long story short, I was in the show. Whatever. Manaya continued to share what she believes her mom kicked her out uh, because she unknowingly had dinner with a woman her mom doesn't like. She shared that following the dinner, her mother called her and said, I just want to be very clear to you or pass the message down to you. If nobody else did, you are not to be in my room and you are not to drive my cars. And I want you to move out. She added, you don't do that to your child. Y'all keep texting. She loves you. She loves you. She loves you. Yes, that's my mom. I'm sure she loves me, but she got a very weird way of showing it. This is the video. It's eight minutes. I'm not going to show. Coach Stormy has yet to directly address her daughter's serious allegations, but she did post a workout video to her IG page and captioned the upload part one. Remember, the hate is real. The love is fake. Many people left comments under the video weighing in on the drama between Coach Stormy and Manaya. Some One person said, giving birth to a person doesn't make you a mother, and being a mother isn't a golden ticket to treat the child with disrespect. 
gross behavior, trying to break you. Miss Stormy, you need more therapy and healing. You don't know it all at all. And that is very common mistake black women make when they meet a certain stature. You never stop learning or growing. Keep that in mind. All I can say is generational curses. Coach, it's time to go sit on that couch with Iyana. So yes, Stormy, you crazy. And to your knowledge, and to you, your knowledge is power, but you also have ignorance and it's slowly spewing out. And there were more. There were more that I'm not going to read. And that's pretty much the end of the article. Okay. So basically, for those of you who are unaware, did a little bit of research. Coach Stormy or Stormy Wellington is a multi-million dollar coach. Her specialty is direct sales, which is where she gained her wealth in the first place. And that rest of that wealth actually came from coaching other people how to get into direct sales and how to become successful at it. Okay. Um, however, her son, according to that video, because the video that I didn't play, I actually watched and listened. And the daughter was saying um, that the son, her stormy son, doesn't speak to her, doesn't talk to her. And she was saying that because she went back to Miami to try to have a better relationship with her mother, that her brother is now kind of off and on not speaking to her because of that. OK. And that he doesn't really speak to his mom. You know, he has his own successful businesses, and entrepreneurship and coaching businesses and all of that. Um, but apparently he does not really have a good relationship with his mother. Um, so he doesn't have a good relationship with her and the daughter relationship with her is on the rocks. So this is, she got wealth covered. She got mobility covered. Okay. She got profession covered according because of the wealth property more than likely has leisure covered. But what about spirituality and family and dwelling? Those have not been covered properly, right? Okay, so recently they had some type of dispute. Taking a look at the video that the young lady did, apparently she had dinner with uh, a woman that her mother didn't really like, but she didn't really know that. And the girl is like speculating about it. She's not saying that that's exactly why. She's saying that she doesn't know exactly why uh, her mother put her out of the house, called her and told her to get her stuff and put her out of the house. And so she's sort of guessing. And from the things that Manaya was saying, she was saying that her and her mother have had a tumultuous relationship. And every time they kind of get into it or get into some type of little argument or something like that, then Manaya will move out and go back to her apartment or whatever. So she said this time she didn't want to move out. She said, I did. I'm, I'm usually one that initiates it. She said, but this time I didn't initiate it because I'm thinking let's do something different than what we've always done so that we can have some type of different result, which makes sense, right? If you want to have a different outcome, you have to do different things. Okay. So, but her mother called and told her to get out. So basically you have no choice. If your mother and you're grown and your mom tells you to leave, then you got to leave. Now, aside from the drama, whether it was potential TV drama or not, um, and whether you keep up with them or not, here's what we have to take a look at. Black women have a tendency to maintain their children. And if they're highly successful in that, they believe that the children should be content, even if the internal values and emotional components are missing. This is why I'm saying black women fail their children, because even at lower level, even when you're not a multimillionaire or you're not a high earning mother. Um, if even if she's just a working class mom and she manages to make just a little bit to have to be able to get her child some good shoes or some nice clothes or, you know, consoles and gaming systems and things of that nature, she will, she will believe that that's actually raising her kids. 
that because she might have raised her children in a little bit better financial position than maybe she was raised in, that that's the be all end all of her job as a mother. And this is why you need that two parent home and people that are getting on Twitter. Uh, what did I call her? Um, what did I call her? I forgot what I call her. Clump, Professor Clump. Um, getting on Twitter talking about in order to succeed, black families don't need the traditional two-parent household. Yes, they do. Because Stormy, while successful in the external values, highly so, a multimillionaire, okay, I think her net worth is something like 50, 60 million dollars, or at least that's the revenue, okay, that she has. I can do a real quick search to find out her um her net worth okay if we do a real quick search hmm. no this isn't this is someone else It gave me another stormy. I'm like, that's not her net worth. Okay. But in any way, I'm not going to waste too much time trying to figure that out because they're really not giving me necessarily her net worth or whatever, which is usually something really quickly. Okay. As of 2021, Stormy Wellington holds a net worth of $3 million. Okay. All right. So that was real quick. That was, anyways, they didn't give it to me right when I wanted it. But in any case, Black women have a tendency to believe that if they were able to provide financially, then that was all that was needed. And this is what goes back to my point of needing that two-parent home. Because if we have the man that's primarily the financial provider, then the mother has the, uh, the has the opportunity to provide the internal values to her children and actually raise her children rather than just maintain them with the necessities of life or even if they manage to go above and beyond just the necessities of a child's life. That's not raising your kids, women. She thinks she did all right. She thinks she did the best job ever by becoming wealthy financially and then her children teaching her children how to do the same which is a good thing but why is the relationship which has to do with the internal which has to do with the emotional which has to do with the spiritual value which has to do with the family value which has to do with the dwelling value because you put that girl going in and out of your house every time y'all have an argument there's no peace in that dwelling right and for those who think money bring you peace then why is there no peace in a multi-million dollar household right so we know that that's not quite true we know that money does not suffice for the internal values. you actually have to have the internal values but see the family value only really matters when it's monetized because another thing that Manaya said is that when she first arrived to Miami and to greet her mother at the airport, her mother didn't just come as her mom. Her mother came with a camera crew. So the family value is not worth anything without the money attached. The health value, because I do believe that Stormy is into fitness also, it got to be monetized. What about the spiritual value? Another thing, if you go to Stormy's website, like her landing page, Coach Stormy's landing page, she's got a lot to say about uh, the different things that you've got to have to be successful. In that opening paragraph, the opening little letter, she said to my future millionaires, dear friend, if you're reading this, then you need to know that coaching is one of the fastest ways to get to the next level. Have you ever wondered why some people are successful in every area of life, health, wealth, happiness? You feel like you have what it takes to have an abundance of wealth and happiness. So, so see how she's utilizing the, the concept loosely, very loosely, of the 10 life values of wealth, not necessarily just being about finances. So she's coupling it with happiness, right? Which is something in your spiritual value, right? 
Remember in the 10 life values, they touch. So you've got her talking about, you know, all of these different things. But where was that to your kids? Where Where's the internal value that you're giving your kids? Living in a lost value system, I don't care how much money you get, is not a good turnout. Because those internal values suffer, no matter how much money you make. Okay? So sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this story. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I am your host of Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.